What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Nerd Entertainment Network, and this is the Nerd Breakdown. Um, <clears throat> tonight, we are doing an episode of breaking down the brand new Scream 2022 trailer. Uh, just to let you guys know in advance, I have watched this trailer about 20 minutes ago, but the video I had was corrupted. So, what are you going to do? Um, so, what we're going to do here is, instead of doing a first reaction, we're going to watch the trailer again. And I'm going to break down the trailer for you guys as we go through. Alright, if you guys are ready, let's get to the reaction right now. Alright, first off, love the use of update technology in this opening scene. The landline goes off, <clears throat> you know, ghost face on the other end saying you should answer it, uh, kind of baiting her to answer the phone instead of just in the original movie where the landline's all you had. So when you answered it, you weren't sure who was on the other end. They're kind of... So Ghostface here is trying to bait her into answering the phone. I like that little, that little take on it. <clears throat> this ain't Amber. This isn't funny, Amber. Would you like to play a game, Tara? Sorry for pausing so much. I love Roger L. Jackson's voice. Uh, every time he comes back to the Scream series to portray Ghostface on the phone. The guy just has that intensity in his voice that you missed in Scream 3, but then he really came back in Scream 4, and this one it seems like he's he's revved up again. He's excited to be in this movie. Oh! Doors unlocked. Again. All doors locked. Another great use of technology, especially with people uh, who have built in, you know, using their apps and their phones to lock and unlock their doors. What a great way of using technology. Another thing that another reboot did, uh, the Child's Play reboot, using technology to its advantage. Doors unlocked. Just toying with her, man. Just toying with her. Oh! That's what I thought was interesting, is that I could have sworn they said that Jenna Ortega was going to be one of the leads. I mean, she was one of the first names that was signed, so for her to pretty much be the Drew Barrymore in this movie, I, I like it. Um, always keeping the audience on its toes. I like the fact that they showed in the trailer, because now it really gets questions running as to, okay, what what are we doing? What are we going to. Very interesting. <clears throat> of course, the great Nev Campbell. It's happening. Three attacks so far. Do you have a gun? David I'm Arquette. Sydney Prescott, of course I have a gun. <laughs> yeah, obviously she has a gun. Something about this one just feels different. <laughs> oh. Samantha? I'm, I know who you are. I've been through this. A lot. This is your life now, which means that whoever this is is going to keep coming for you. Let's go back for, for just a second. I like this little shadow. Coming for you. Almost like an actual ghost. Like, like a shadow. Like haunting the town. I love, I love that, that scenery. It's amazing. You ready? Of course, the great Courtney Cox. Never. Never. Oh. Love the seeing the uh, Stu's house. As you see right here, the great uh, camera tilt. Uh, definitely, you can see that's, uh, that's Stu's house. Love the fact that they're going back to kind of more iconic shots. Certain rules 
to surviving. The attacks were all on people related to the original killers. I didn't catch this. It attacks people related to the original killers. Okay, so that gets me wondering if they're related to Billy and Stu somehow. Maybe they're maybe their daughters, maybe they're, I don't, they're related to Billy and Stu somehow. I'm just wondering how they're related. Whatever his link is to our past, it's pulled us all back here. I mean, they can't be daughters because of course Billy and Stu are dead. Ah, love how brutal this movie looks. Watch again. That just stepping on the leg. Ah, oh, that, that crunch, man. Hello, Sydney. Roger it's Jackson. Love the voice change. Uh, going from kind of a higher pitch to a darker growl when he sees Sydney. Love it. It's an honor. January 14th, man. Yeah, guys, so that's all I noticed uh, on my second rewatch. I'm still... I like being in the dark about horror movies, but I like seeing... I like seeing footage of what I could expect. That gets my mind as a screen fan rolling and just kind of like, what... What are we going to do in this movie? And that's the most intriguing part. Because. You don't know. Um, you got some key details. Like. Um, the killer is always related to. One of the original killers. Or they go after victims of. Um, or they go at. The killer is going after. People related. To. Um, the original killers. Which would be Billy and Stu. But. My question is, how are they related to Billy and Stu? Intriguing. I love it. I love that they're tying this into the original. I like that they're... You can really tell that... <clears throat> Radio Silence, the guys behind Ready or Not, they are huge Scream fans. So you could tell that they're bringing their love of the Scream movies to the screen. <coughs> You can see that they're pretty much living out their their dreams of directing a screen movie. And you can see that, especially from the cast and the crew, that not only are they really good to work with, but they are passionate about what they're doing. And I think that passion is going to lend itself great on the screen. I know I'll be there opening night. With my Scream shirt on. Uh, very excited for this movie. January 14th guys. Scream 2022. Did. Alright so let me know what you thought. About this trailer in the comments below. I'll be down there reacting to you guys. Uh, reading comments and things like that. So let me know what you guys thought. Tell me what you guys thought of this breakdown. And I will see you guys soon.